to Bookends Madras Children's Theater. Um, we have a production that we're going to be showing you here very soon, but I just wanted to give you a little heads up that for the last week, we've had 12 amazing actors and actresses come in and write a play and put it on, and they have worked very hard. And so I want you to sit back, get a bowl of popcorn, and enjoy, what, the forest? Well, welcome to the forest. This is my home. And these are the trees that make my home. But a few years back, the trees weren't this way. No way. They were not this way. And I'm going to show you a story of how many hands makes things lighter. So, once upon a time. Ever since I ate that piece of mint and turned into a fairy godmother, it's been work, work, work. Fairy godmothers need vacations too. Uh, at least I got away to my very old forest. It's actually quite nice to sit on the stumps. Oh, oh, what is that? Oh, what is that? That is slimy and gross and icky. Oh, the tricks don't look so good. That's that icky stuff is coming from? Oh, I'm gonna go home and take a shower. I'm hunting, I'm hunting. Come on, Tinkerbell, come on. We're gonna be late to sleep. We're gonna be late to Sleeping Beauty's birthday party. Yeah. What did you get her? I got her a beautiful bathroom. What did you? I got her a pair of pajamas. Awesome. Let's go. Ew, what happened to the tree? I don't know. They look awful. But we don't have time. We need to go to the Sleeping Beauty's yeah. house. Oh, her name's Belle, just like mine. <sighs> I wish I could find Mr. Beast. He's just disappeared. <sighs> well, is this the forest he was telling me about? He said it was beautiful. But it looks awful. I need to find him quick before possibly he's in danger. Here, hairball. Here, hairball. Has anybody seen my sheep? Is this a joke? Are they trying to die? No, it can't be. It's hairball's. Whoa, I think I'm on the right track. These trees look awful. I'm looking for this girl and she's blonde haired, about this high. Well, I'll just hang this poster up. Oh no! What happened to the trees? I'm the sheriff. I'm supposed to keep these trees in order. I've got to go deal with another case. I need to decide where to start my empire. This place was really embarrassing, and I thought maybe this would be a good place. What in the world this happened? Are the trees dying? They don't look so good. If the 
the trees are like this, that probably means that the soil and the ground isn't so good. I probably wouldn't be able to feed my subjects. I can't do it here. The trees are dying. <laughs> oh my gosh, the wolf was chasing me. Uh, maybe if I get some Skittles, I'll get some energy. I remember I don't have any Skittles. I was eating them. Um, what happened to the trees? Uh, whatever, the wolf's still chasing me. <laughs> what is all this racket out here? Me, Rubble Stilton, is trying to sleep. Cause if I don't get sleep, I get mad. When I'm mad, I do bad stuff. Ew! What is Mammy's dreams? Oh yeah, I cursed them a hundred years ago because I was mad. I told you, don't make me mad. Now I'm gonna go to sleep. Somebody deals with me.
can't believe how expensive these things are. Oh my goodness. Need some salt. It's better, but something else. Oh, I found an idea. Ah! How about these blackberries? Okay. Yeah, there we are. Uh, which? That's pretty small. Yeah, that's a really small container. Yeah. It's a bottomless container, one of the latest. Oh, oh that's that right. makes more sense. It's, it's working. Oh, it's yeah. working. It's oh, oh. Hey, I got a good idea. Maybe if I stir it with my wand, because it's magic, it will make the trees lighten up. Okay. Maybe that'll work. Children's Theater. I just have a couple people that I'd like to thank and give a shout out to. First off, I want to thank Jefferson County Library District for allowing us to use the Rodriguez um, Annex for the whole week. And it was really nice to be able to have this facility and this stage to do all of our production and, and getting ready for that. I also have a number of ladies who helped me throughout the week um, in leadership roles and in planning. And so first I'd like to thank Regina, hey, those are my glasses. Alice, Allison, <laughs> oh, those are not my glasses, but I wish they were. And Tori, what, where's Tori? Oh yeah, she was one of the trees. <laughs> I also wanna thank Laura for doing the sound and the filming. Um, and all the productions and editing and stuff that needed to be done there. Um, and I just want to remember, most of all, the kids. The kids did a fantastic job writing and producing this play. I know that they're all tired, but they were so excited to be able to see it on film. And I also want to thank the parents for allowing your kids to come. We are looking forward to maybe doing this again next year, so stay tuned and listen up for Bookends, Madras Children's Theater. Thank you.